So, I lived in many hoods in my day, but adulthood by far is the worst. It seems like when you take five steps forward, you take 10 steps back. You get more mail from bill collectors than you do phone calls from your own family. As soon as you get paid, Uncle Sam wants half. And worst of all, groceries don't last a week. Well, that's if you like to eat. And who don't like to eat? See, since I've been in this short journey of adulthood, I've learned the smallest decisions matter. Simply like what shoes you have on. For example, why would I have $300 shoes on when I could just wear Crocs? Doesn't seem like a lot, but when you actually have responsibilities, things like that matter. The smallest decisions can have the biggest impact financially, for sure. Hell, I try to save as much money as possible. Look, I'm grown as hell and I still pack a lunch. Like my mama used to say, we got food at the house. It didn't mean much back then, but when you're trying to save and pay bills at the same time, shit, it means a lot. A lot of people watch this and question a lot of things that I do, like packing a lunch and driving for Uber when I have a good paying job, but I'm different. I ain't like everybody else. My goals require discipline and sacrifice, and if not eating out and driving for Uber to make a little extra cash is what it takes by any means. I'll do whatever I gotta do. Head to your pickup at Mo Southwest. I'll be back, Jim Bob. try to work out from time to time. Hell, I wouldn't lie to you like I'm some workout guru, but man, sometimes you just need to get outside, honestly. And I even bought a bike a few weeks ago. Can't remember the last time I rode a bike, but man, it feels good. So, days turn into weeks, and weeks turn into months, and you find yourself repeating the same things over and over, getting into the habit of life. I mean, really, from booking doctor's appointments to, hell, paying bills, everything just simply becomes a routine at this point. Have you been here before? Yes, ma'am. What's your last name? Williams.
What's good, you guys? Man, I hope you guys like that vlog at the beginning of this video. And I put the vlog in the video because I hate sit down videos. But people seem to love these sit down videos. So I thought I'd just put my spin to it because I'm just different like that, you know? So I'm here to basically answer some questions because people have a lot of questions. I posted a Q&A, but that was over a month ago and people still have a lot of questions. So we're just gonna run into it. And if I don't answer your question, I will be doing this more often in my videos, just at the end of the videos, just to um, answer more questions. People are asking how to get in contact with me. Just follow me on Instagram. It is hell. It is hell trying to get back to people because I have so many DMs, but I will try. And people seem to ask, they don't ask questions. They write essays and I'm not getting into that. So when you do hit me, I'm just ask a question. Just one question, don't ask me. Don't, you know, most of the time, a lot of you guys ask me stuff I already answered, so just watch the videos. Simple. I'm not finna keep answering the same question a thousand times. But if you do wanna get in contact with me, DM me and ask me a question. Don't write me an essay. Don't tell me about your life, which I care about your life. But when there's 50 to 60 other people doing it, it kinda gets overwhelming. So try to keep it a little short, you know, Hi, my name is so-and-so. I got a small question about X, Y, Z. I would like your response. Something like that, you know? But with that being said, let's get into these questions because I'm gonna try to get as many in as possible. You know, um, let's start with this. Does the SIU pay for upgrades from A, B to third mate? Yes, they do. They pay for all upgrades. They pay for, I mean, if you're in the SIU, it is free to go to the school and take classes as long as you're with the SIU so yeah um I'm really interested to do this but first I need to know if it is required to have any shots or vaccines to be a merchant seaman do we get so many shots like bro I've had Japanese influenza I've had uh, all type of Singapore shots I've had I mean to go to the certain certain countries you have to get shots and you know, uh, benzene. I mean, you working on tankers that have benzene, so you gotta get your benzene shot. And, you know, it's just a lot. It's a lot. Yes, there's some shots you gotta get. Is the COVID shot mandatory right now? No, it's not mandatory, but I'm a hundred percent sure that they will make it mandatory. Some companies have already started, so just get your COVID shot. If you wanna join this industry, I'm hundred percent sure it will be mandatory in the near future. Um, Somebody asked me to do a pay of the AB versus third mates. Now the different, now the thing about the mates is their pay isn't public. So I don't like to give you guys information that I don't know that is 100% fact. So I can't do that. I can only give you AB pay, OS pay, you know, I give you guys apprentice pay. I don't have a clue. I have a idea what the mates make, but I don't want to put out false information. They do make a great lump sum. Uh, one young lady asked me to, you know, elaborate on people with kids trying to join the SIU. And I work with a lot of people with children. Um, most of their children are grown, but if you have younger children, it will be just a tad bit harder because you are out for extended periods of time. Now, if you have a good relationship at home, husband, wife, uh, girlfriend, boyfriend, whoever that you live with, you know, um, if it's if it's not conflict in your relationship to leave your kids with that person, it might be good. You know, I just look at it kind of like military, like, you know, one parent goes out for deployment, the other parent stays on work with the kids. As long as you have a good understanding of that, you will spend a lot of time away from home. And I tell people that because I do not want people to get out here and be like, damn, I didn't know I had to stay out here three to four months. Like, damn, I didn't know I was, I mean, you know, I stuck. Now I'm out here five months. You know, I don't want to get, you know, I want everybody to know prior to going out. So yes, you will be out for an extended period of time. And if you have children, if your children are in high school or they're older, I say go for it. It's a great living. Um, you know, I do it for the money. I don't do it because I like to work on boats. I do it primarily for the money. But 
yeah, just as long as you have that understanding with your kids and they understand what you're doing, it, it shouldn't be a problem. Uh, what else do we have? What else do we have? What else do we have? Why do you do Uber Eats if you have a good paying job? Dude, I make decent amount of money on Uber Eats. So I use the money from Uber Eats to pay my bills. I make just I make just enough so I can pay my bills. So that the money that I use and want work hard for um, out there on the water, I just put that in a totally different bank account. Try not to even look at it. You know, why I spend my money that I worked hard for when I could just come here to work, use that money to pay bills and save this money. I got an end goal and that's to start a business and you have to be disciplined with money to start a business. And right now I'm just trying to practice discipline with my money. I'm also trying to save money so I can get out of this thing that I'm doing. Uh, that's my end goal. So that's why I do Uber Eats. Oh, there's another one. Do they allow neck tattoos? Man, they allow any tattoo. You can have tattoos on your forehead that says kiss my ass they don't they don't care man as long as you got your certificates uh they allow felony uh felons like i said face tattoo neck tattoo back head tattoo it don't matter uh these are the real sailors the sailors that you hear about uh, not the navy we're talking about real deal sailors these are the ones that you hear in those stories tatted up uh you know all type of shit. These are the these are the OGs. So yes, you can have any tattoos if you want. Don't worry about that. I know you listed all the cons, but what are some things that you should that shouldn't be on your mind when getting on the ship? I don't, it's a lot of things that shouldn't be on your mind, and I'm not finna go on that because I don't want to push out any negativity. Uh, you just find out on your own. But things that should be on your mind: how much money I'm finna make? What's my end goal? How much, you know, um, how much is this going to act, impact me and my family? Uh, that's the type of stuff that gets me through because, man, I have some rough days where I don't want to be out there usually 50% of the time. And those are the type of things that keeps me going. Uh, I, th I think you should write down your goals prior to getting out there and post them somewhere that you can see them. So it's a reminder every day, even those bad days, you're like, man, that's my goal. And I'm going to do anything I got to do to reach that goal. And at the end of the day, you're going to eventually go home. Everything will be all right. But man, sometimes it gets stuff out there. So I say just keep your mind on the positive. Just try to keep your mind on the positive. That's what I try to do. Because man, I'm telling you, I have some rough days. Somebody said SIU versus MSC. SIU, that's who I work with. I'm not, <clears throat> I can't tell you anything about MSC. There's people that make videos about MSC. Um, I've heard I've I've heard horror stories about MSC and uh, right when I thought things over here could get bad, sometimes man, whoo, yeah, MSC ain't no joke. Um, everybody that's taking action, I see it in the comments, man. I appreciate everybody that's actually taking action. A lot of people will watch videos and not they won't go apply for their Twitter card and they'll still be asking questions. So. Anybody that's actually taking action, you know, I commend you. For anybody wanting to know my class number at Piney Point, if you go to Piney Point, if you're already in the program, my class number was 844. You can look at it on the wall over there by the channel. Damn, I'll be in the picture somewhere. How many months of the year do I work? As many months as I want. Take off as many months as I want. But to keep full benefits, I have to work at least 120. Uh, I have to work 120 years and 60 years in each half of the year. I love the videos. Thank you. What do I need to What do I need to do to work on boats? Do I need a, cer a certain degree of qualification, or can I just work without any? You should watch one of my videos because I talked about it. No, you don't need a degree, um, but you can go get one if you like. I'm heading to the SIU Piney Point in a little over a week. Should I pack more clothes than what's on the list or just bring what they want me to bring? Just bring what they want you to bring. You will not be wearing any street clothes, my God. None at all. None at all. You will not be wearing any street clothes at all. 
is there internet on the ship? Like I've said in my previous video, internet on the ship is 50-50. Sometimes you'll have internet, internet, sometimes you won't. Just go prepare thinking that you won't. How long do you have home? Do you have home? As long as I want. Please tell me the step-by-step -step guide to doing this. I literally made a whole video on this. Do you get paid when you're off work? Like after three months at sea, do you get paid when you're home? You get a vacation check. Uh, certain companies have diff different vacation policies, but um, you will get a vacation check. You won't get paid, but you will get a check prior to leaving the ship. A pretty good lump sum. Based on how long you work, you will get a pretty good lump sum uh, vacation check for sure. And there's a lot of people that say negative shit in the comments, but I really don't give a shit. I was just putting that out there. I, I really don't give a shit. Do they drug test often? They drug test every time you get... Uh, they drug test prior to you getting on the ship, and you could be random, so... No drugs. No drugs. A lot of overseas people are mad at me because I posted the pay videos. Like, I live in America. You live in... The emirate whatever i don't know you can't be mad because we make more just move i mean i don't know what to tell you like i'm sorry they're paying you 50 cent an hour i'm sorry like i don't know what to tell you like, don't be mad why are you mad at me like what did i do to you just, those are all the questions for right now if you have any more questions please 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 drop them below this video drop them below this video or DM them to me and I'm gonna make a whole nother, I'm gonna make a whole just big Q&A video coming up soon because man, I did not know this many people had this many questions. So I will keep doing my thing. If you like the vlog style, let me know. And I'll see you in the next video. I should be leaving here soon so you will begin more ship content. I appreciate you watching the video. Peace.